Getting ready for week five of Luther College football as they make the trip down to Simpson this weekend. Head coach Joe Troche joining us and looking back to last Saturday, coach, uh, it was anything but a boring game, uh, that's for sure, against BV. Yeah, no, it was it was great. It was great to see our guys compete. Uh, a lot of fun, I'm sure, for the fans. Went up two scores, down two scores. Our guys fought, and uh, ultimately, Buena Vista made more plays than us. And uh, it was tough. It was tough, but I think our guys are starting to see – they're starting to have some success in the things that we're talking about, so we're getting more buy-in and uh, a lot of good – to pull from last week and a lot of that good was on the offensive side of the ball a record setting day for a passing yards a quarterback bull cornwell record setting day for total offense for him what made your offense click last saturday they're just doing the things that we ask them to um our offensive line we've made some tweaks they didn't give up a sack so that was huge so it gave bo time to go through his progression and you know we talked to those guys about hey when, when we don't protect our quarterback he loses trust and he can't sit back and go through his progression because he's thinking, oh, boy, you know, pressure's coming. You start feeling ghosts. And so, you know, when we give him protection, he can do some really good things and overall really happy. Um, you know, the, the thing we want back is a turnover going into the half. Um, that set up a touchdown that we should have stopped. But, uh, you know, instead of going up two scores and getting the ball in the second half, we only go up one score. And ultimately, that was that was a deciding factor. So that was a big play that we got to get back and be smart. Uh, but Bo's done a really good job uh, managing our offense and throwing away the ball when he needs to and, and not trying to score on every single play. So just his growth has been awesome, right? In the run game, in the pass game, I mean, he's just he, – he did a phenomenal job along with our, our offense and specifically our offensive line. And the uh, passing game uh, you had that record-setting day, but it wasn't like you uh, weren't able to run the football uh, – Bo uh, ran it pretty good from the quarterback position. A very uh, good day for for Sean Brooks. Uh, you credit that? Uh, is that uh, all starting with that offensive line once again? Yeah, yeah. It starts with the offensive line, but also taking what's given to us. If if the box is loaded, we'll take advantage of it. And if the box is a little light, we feel really good about our run game. And we had um, three running backs get carries, and and Bo got in the mix too. So if if your quarterback's mobile and not just running because the look is there, but he's an explosive player. Um, it just, it makes you so much more dangerous. I mean, it's really hard when you got to defend all 11 guys. And so we were kind of firing on all cylinders and uh, that was really good because uh, I think one of this is a good defense. I mean, they held code of 14 points a week prior. So for us to, to do what we did against a good defense uh, just com continues to build the confidence and trust among our players and our staff. One uh, moment of growth uh, in my mind in watching the game was uh, early in the fourth quarter, you go down uh, two scores, 39-28. Uh, uh, and quite often in the past uh, with this uh, program, we've seen guys fight. Uh, we've seen guys uh, just battle and compete for that long. But if you hit a barrier where you go down uh, two scores in the fourth quarter of the game, uh, everything tends to crumble after that. You didn't do that. You uh, fought back. You took a, a brief lead a couple of times in that fourth quarter. What do you credit that to? Man, just the grit of our guys. And uh, there was a moment where you kind of go down two scores and, and you, you just stop for a second. You're like, wait a minute, turn around. And just the the uh, what I saw in our the eyes of our players was awesome. Guys are congrats. You know, they're, they're staying positive, right? Guy makes a mistake. And as soon as that guy comes off, you know, I'm pretty heated. So I got to hit pause. But our players were already loving them up like, hey, hey, it's OK. Let's just think about what you did wrong. Right. And so just to see the girl from our players where they're coaching each other up. Um, was phenomenal and it paid off and uh, ultimately it's our responsibility to put our players in those situations and uh, we, we haven't done that right we got in some situations they haven't been in and we panicked a little bit I think that's that's why we weren't able to win we were in some situations we haven't been a, been in a lot of and we haven't repped it enough and ultimately um, we've got to do a better job of that as a staff so then our players can play in that stressful environment and apply their technique. Uh, on the defensive side of the ball, obviously, if you give up 52 points in a, a game, uh, that's not putting yourself in a position to ultimately win a game. Of uh, After looking at the film, after studying the uh, film uh, of the offensive uh, performance by BV, how much of them was just good of execution on their part? How much of it uh, was stuff that you need to learn and get better from moving forward? Yeah, they took advantage when they when they needed to. You know, frustrating when you make a really good call. You got two guys free, 
and uh, both guys aren't able to, to, to make the play. Um, so as a play caller, you got to make some changes and it's tough. It's tough when you, you know, you got a great call and we don't execute or, um, you know, I would say the other piece too, is we've made some bad calls and our players bail us out. So we're just, we got to do a better job of helping each other out. And when you watch the play, you're like, man, that's just, we're not playing within our technique. Right. And we think about the last two drives, uh, we get a big fourth down stop and, uh, actually two, the last drive, excuse me, the second last drive, we get a stop, force a punt, we go down, we score. And honestly, the last play call I love, we get two on one. They throw into double coverage. We just got a guy who tries to undercut it. And the guy goes to the top and their guy makes a play um, over us. And so we just got to be smarter about, hey, guys, this is downtime. We just got to stop them instead of, you know, going for all of the glory. Uh, let's just tackle them, keep playing. You know, we got a penalty to get them second and long. And uh, we just got to be in those situations more so our guys can – can understand, hey, what's the situation? Okay, I'm gonna play this deep to short and know that we're in a, a position of strength. We don't need to sell out. And um, we talked to our players about that on Sunday and they owned it. That's what I love about our guys is, you know, we address that with our DBs and say, hey, what, what's the situation here? Okay, downtime. Okay, what does that mean? We gotta get off the field. We get our chance to get our hands in the ball, we go down, uh, but we don't need to sell out, right? Because what's the trade off? And uh, I think our guys brought that into practice this week and have learned from it. And, and we just gotta grow. Unfortunately, um, we made a mistake and we, we lost, um, the best is we can make a mistake and not lose, but we'll see how we respond this week. If we, if we truly learn from it. How has practice been here in the early going of this week and knowing the fact that there were a lot of positives, uh, last week, but you came, uh, short of the result you wanted uh, last week. How have the guys been, uh, been in practice, uh, this week as you get ready for your next opponent? Good guys are engaged. Um, the, the unit pride is high. we got guys coaching each other up, loving each other up, and we're doing a better job of moving on the next point. We make a mistake, and I think it comes with with owning it um, and just understanding, hey, the, the goal is to make mistakes now and figure out why we made that mistake and grow from it. Let's not keep making the same mistake. Right? We come to Tuesday, Wednesday, and we're getting beat on different things um, that we've been beaten on all year. Like That's a problem, and our guys are – doing a better job understanding and grasping our, our system and just football overall. And uh, I mean, it's, this is a demanding schedule that they have academically. And when they come down to us in football, we want to be locked in. They did a really good job this week. So I'm excited to see, um, see them really play this weekend. And uh, you make the trip down to Simpson. Uh, what are you expecting out of the storm come Saturday? They played three good teams. They're, they're playing their butts off and, uh, um, you know, Coach Jeter uh, was the only coach that reached out to me when I got the job. I have a lot of respect for him, and uh, I know his players are going to play hard for him. And they've done some good things. They've had some bad luck here and there. They definitely have this game circled. This is a game they think um, they can win, and they should think that. And so we need to come out and execute and focus on ourselves. If we play offensively the way we played against Buena Vista, we're going to have a good day. Defensively, we need to get back on track and do the things – uh, that we're good at, right? You look at some of the same play calls, we get a stop, call the same thing, give them a 50 yard run because guys don't do their job. So if we can complement offensively, defensively, special teams, um, I think we'll be really happy with the results on Saturday. All right. Uh, hopefully uh, you can get to victory number one uh, coming up on Saturday, coach. Uh, keep your guys healthy. Uh, we wish you uh, best of luck as you make the long trip down to Indianola. Thanks, Darren. Appreciate your time. Joe Troche, head coach of the Luther College North.